Hello, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Uh, I think we're beating the game today. I think. I could be wrong. But, I'm pretty sure. Mm, butter. But I'm pretty certain that today is the day. So, we need to go there. And uh, I think that's down to Port Zexen. Over the weekend, I did all of the, yeah, I did all the side quests that were left available to me, um, without collecting more anyway, because there's definitely more. There's definitely more side quests. Uh, there were more exclamation points in a couple of towns that I saw, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do them. I'm a bit of a completionist, but not when it comes to Tales games. <laughs> Because a lot of the time, Tales games require you to not miss things, or to do things at certain times for very specific quests. And um, that's, that definitely isn't going to happen when you're doing a playthrough on Twitch. Oh, whoops, went the wrong way. So, it's already uh, the idea of doing a completionist run of something like this. Is, uh, it's just not going to happen, I suppose. But, since we're on our way to go fight Artorias, I think... Hi, buddy. Are you the last shop of the game? Oh, look at his glasses. What <laughs>俺には読めん。代わりに読んでくれ。うん。全力お兄ちゃん。手紙届きました。なぜかボロボロだったけど。お兄ちゃんの本当の気持ちが伝わってきました。今さら感は否めなかったけど。ご信用に教えてくれた
消えないか合戦その剣どういう仕組みなの触らないで。For the last three streams, the start of each one has been that. That's weird. Been the,、um, the block you said, velvet dialogue thing. Whatever you call it. Post fight script or something. I wonder if it's just lucky RNG for me. Aha.、Uh -huh. Lucky RNG for me or something else. Thank you for the chip. Hi. Who are you? I remember them from the cutscene. カノヌシの力で強制的に意志を奪われているだけだ。多くの精霊は汚れの影響を恐れ、人間とは距離を置いている。本来は穏やかな感情を持った者たちなのだ。だからって事情は承知の上だ。だが手加減をすれば、こっ
おそらく悩む必要はないだろうえほっほー転送術とは手回しがいいのカノヌシが完全覚醒するには私とライフセットがいる決戦は向こうも望むところってことよこっちだって望むところだよなどとノリで飛び込むでないわそこつものちゃんと調べんかごごめんなさいおう、yeah. ここに来て初めてマギルーが正論を言ってる<笑>キツネ念のためあたりを調べてみましょう<笑>決戦前に確かめてみましょう。Court spelt seems like the best thing. I'm mainly gonna go for attack and what have you. But some of these, like this, I definitely don't wanna wear, I think. I think I wanna be wearing things like the courts. Yeah, it gives a pretty, pretty substantial boost. So, I say with the boots. Uh, sure, you know, I've, I've had it like this the entire time, pretty much, so. I'll let it alone. Aha, hello. Outside the large door, sanctuary. Yeah, I think the sanctuary is what you caught last time. So, all that's left to do then is to chat with everyone, and then、uh, lock set at the end, it looks like. Ningeru nara ima no uchi yo. そうはいかん知ってな通り暇なんでの初めて会った時は思いもしなかったわあんたとこんな付き合いになるなんてわしもじゃよまったくこの世は無常己の思い通りには9割9分なりません人はならぬものをなそうとする七天抜刀愛別陸の苦行の果てに死んでいくんじゃな私たちは苦しむために生まれてきたのかしら知らんじゃが成功が保証されておったら人間は動かん願いが叶うかどうかわからんから前に進むんじゃここでないどこかへ一歩でも前へ泣いて怒って笑いながらベルベットやきっとこの歩みこそが生きるということなんじゃよ大丈夫普通にいいアドバイスしちゃってるわよ<笑>時にはこんな思いもよらんことが起こる人間も人生もそう捨てたもんではないの Look at this beach man Time to dive in That's good, that fits with his outfit I love that. Fee. She finally got to tell him that she's going to die. Nande m o i t Anton. Anton, come it. Nande it's more pionte not the no? Oh, Kuro de Camio Aratara, Chanto Kawakasteru? Janai to Kazehikuayo? Chanto Steruketo, Pionta Natano? So Nande. Ma, Kawaikara, son of Mamma de Ikido. かわいいなんて言われても嬉しくないじゃあ似合ってるあんたらしくていいと思うわそれならいいけど<笑>いいならよかった<笑> Oh hey how's it going Vanos <笑> You surpassed me Oh oh that's right you're gonna I think I'm almost at the end though right Like this feels very end game I knew there was going to be a dungeon up here. They can't just throw me again. Depends if you were me or not. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not sure. 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 I'
I'm nowhere near done? Oh, no. Oh, you are near done. <laughs> These are very different things you're saying here. <laughs> I am trying to finish the story, yes. I've done nearly all the Code Red uh, hunts that I had available to me. I did all the submissions that I saw. So definitely not all of them. But I'm expecting, my hope is that I'm going to get to uh, Artorias within uh, the next hour or so. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I think if I liked the combat system, I probably would want to do it. But I've, I've really not enjoyed the combat. Probably because I've just been comparing it to Symphonia the whole time. The combat's fine. It's just not my favorite. Like, I think it's neat, but... It doesn't feel like I'm actually fighting anything. Bienfu taught you to laugh. Oh. Oh. Wait, so what makes the higher difficulties uh, better for combat? さて、さて。こっちの盛り上がりに合わせて敵の先もぐんと高まってきたようじゃぞ。この先は何があるかわからない。気を抜かずに行くわよ。There we go. This is a nice little area they got though. It reminds me of something. I can't think of what, but something. It's freaking bright. Jeez. Oh, oh, you're an enemy. Okay, and you're weak to those. Uh, boy, bring out eyes in them. Higher difficulty if you get hit, you die instantly. Go to one soul, gives you zero break. That sucks. That sounds awful. That, that sounds terrible. I hate it when I only have one soul. You basically have to one the X everything. It's not the time to save your ally. Jeez. Not to mention the grade, I bet. It sounds like you'd have shitty grade like for every fight. Because KOs take off like what, six grade or something crazy? You never look at your grade, oh, okay. Well, does grade, um... Is there a grade shop though, at the end? Because there's gotta be a grade shop. You only have three or four deaths fight because you just had a whole routine of them. Ah. Huh. I mean, I can appreciate the challenge of it, I think, but. It's, uh, oh, fuck me. Okay. Yeah. Overall, like, I don't think this game hasn't felt that long. Like, I think I'm at, like, at least 40 hours or something, but it hasn't felt as, um, like, I don't feel like I've done that as large of a journey as I did in other Tales games. I mean, I guess just because my, like, measuring point is from Symphonia that I have a bit of a problem there because there's two worlds in there and, like, a ton of dungeons and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then I played, um, what's the one with, with um, Yuri Lowell in it? The Vesperia, I think? I played Vesperia, and that one felt pretty big, too. Like, when you thought you were kind of getting to the end of the main story, you really weren't. You were just more. Same with Symphonia, like, you got to the Tower of uh, Rebirth, and it took you, like, five, four or five dungeons or something like that to get there. 
And then also it's like, oh, well, no, you're not even a third of the way through the game yet. Good luck. Modern kills and those epic skills have been before. Ah, okay. I mean, that's what it feels like. It's a good way to put it in. So, like, this game has been very straightforward and, like, linear feeling, I guess. It's like, go kill pigs. Okay, good. Now go get killed by pigs. Okay, bad. Now you're in prison. Get out of prison. Now you need a ship. Get a ship. You met a pirate. Do stuff with the pirate. And go fuck up the Abbey's plans. Keep fucking up the Abbey's plans. Uh, find out more about stuff. Realize that you need to fuck up the Abbey's plans. really, really hard to save the world, but you're really only doing it because you're mad. And then act on how mad you are. And that's like the entire plot. Like, it's very, uh, very straightforward feeling. Ooh. Oh, that's another thing that I should do. I checked out, um... I checked out... <sighs> okay. You probably want... This, maybe? To uh, make sure that everyone has some decent armor on whether or not it's mastered or not. Just because... Normally I alternate everything. Oh, well, you can keep that. You're almost there. Normally I alternate everything so that they, oh, you almost have that mastered too. And that, okay. I guess I'll wait. You put the surprise in this game. The whole time. Yeah, I think mild fun is a good way to, uh, to describe this. Yeah, there's no way he's going to master before the end, so I might as well give him this because it's better. Uh, pendant wise. Eh, honestly, that's not bad. He can, he can hold on to that. Yeah, Lofty set. I feel like I might get into enough fights that he's going to master that, so that'll be fine. The Neptune satchel is pretty good, especially arts wise. So I think I'll leave that since he's just a little arts tank. This should probably change though, right? Although maybe not, it, it keeps his magic back up. Though I still don't really know if the hat is magic attack or magic defense. I guess it's probably defense, right? So I probably actually want to swap him over to like a topaz waistcoat. Okay, that should be all right. Had his defense, so he he just he's massively tanky for against arts right now, but not actually powerful. Mm, I might want to. I wonder if I should try to change that. I don't know what he's supposed to be, because he is like Mayu is the offensive one, and he's the one who does the best. Though it's weird to me that Aizen is the one who has the resurrection spell. Like that seems kind of strange. Like, he's the older Malik, sure, and like he's been around for a long time, so he knows a lot of things. Or what have you. But it's still weird that he's the one with the resurrection spell. Uh, oh jeez. Hold on. Wait, what's the difference here? There's something shiny over there. Or this. That looks like it's going to warp me up. I don't know what that one's going to do. I want to see it. Isn't that an Eleanor? Oh, Eleanor has one too? I didn't realize that. I wonder if, uh... Does she actually have it? Oh, she has life. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Because normally... You would expect it to be, like, one of the magicians. What is what is this? Let me, let me check it. What is this? I've, okay, I've shut it off, I guess? Or I've turned it on. I've turned it on. Okay. Okay, let's get away from all the angels. That looks like a terrible idea. Whew. Bam. I've been more compelled by the story. Oh, it's a bit faster than me, isn't it? I've been enjoying the story a lot, though. Of this game. Though it didn't really have any twists or turns. Yeah, they, I mean, every single, 
every uh, puzzle, if that's what we're going to call them, um, it's, it's just find the switch. Touch the thing, open door. There was the fruits. That I, I did that last time when I was doing um, uh, the Omega Elixir side quest. There were fruits on trees that you had to eat to get by gas. That was the uh, the novel the novel thing to do. But besides that, everything was either like bust open a rock, jump across something, burn down something, or press a switch. So definitely, definitely uh, like a good baby's first tales game. Like I could see, well, mm, I was to say that I could see you giving this to like a kid, like a teen kid, and then enjoying it. But then again, like some of the, I don't know if the plot is appropriate. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's it'd be okay, but okay. So there's multiple. It looks like there's multiple points here to jump off from. Okay. Wait. Okay, that one's active. It's not like it shows anything. That's true. But just, like... I don't know. Like, for example, uh, like, Moana's stuff. And with, like, her losing her mom and all that stuff. And, and like, the psyche trauma in Velvet when they're going through... Anomia's thing, and she's just completely losing it, and all that. I feel, I feel like a kid might not. Uh, they'll, yeah, they'd probably just blow through it. Honestly, wouldn't let them think about it. Let me watch. <laughs> so, well, I think I went the wrong way. I went the right way for a chest. Bearer of Salvation. Uh-huh. Sure. I don't know. But, like, the, the difficulty of the puzzles makes me think that this would be, like, good for a kid. Or for someone who doesn't really do puzzle games. Because, like, I remember... Tales of Symphonia had some pretty nasty puzzles in it. Or, like, some really, really annoying ones. Where they were... You had to think about them a lot. I think the toughest, the toughest puzzle was maybe the uh, underwater temple place, where you had to like light all the stones on the door, and that was it. <laughs> but like you kind of had to, you had to figure out that you could do that. Oh, I think you discovered more things. And Gordon Ramsay over here. Look at this, level eighteen in cooking. Madman. But yeah, I like specifically, I remember that the whatever the wind temple place was in in Symphonia was a massive pain in the ass. I don't remember why, I but I remember it being a pain. Or maybe like the thunder one. It doesn't really matter. I just remember them being pains. Plus, it's all has been. <laughs> Design clock puzzle. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. I remember that one too because you had to you had to get hit by the enemies to trigger the lightning effect to turn on the door. Yeah, I could I could see that not not being great for <laughs> for a kid. You know they got a good view up here. It looks like this thing's just gonna like drop nukes or like those things down onto it and destroy everything. Like Operation Meteorite. I'm gonna assume that this area is like every other one, and, and I just have to go touch all the things, and then it will be fine. Just to know how, how to use my dolphin during the game back, which I just cried. <laughs> oh. This warp point can now be used. Good. It's just a warp point on the same area, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Yikes. Um, is this the new one? I don't know. I didn't really pay attention. No, this is... 
Ugh, I'm gonna have to actually pay attention in a minute. I'm pretty sure. The one that I just hit before opened up. Not that one. That one, I think, over there. You can touch all the things, but there are a bunch of optional mini bosses. Oh. Like, by optional mini bosses, do you mean like enemies running around that are the bosses, or like things you can kind of find and go through? I don't mind mini bosses. I don't mind fighting a few, few things before Artorias. I mean, I, it's almost expected, but I'm just hoping that within uh, the next couple hours or so, that I'll beat the game because this feels like I should be beating it since we're up here now. Oh, I don't have the uh, the thing, so I can't hop across. Okay. All right. How do I get over there? Oh, that looks like I can only... I can only get to it by hopping across. <laughs> I'll just jump to the other than that. It's key double special. One for each character in the party. Huh. Alright. I'm gonna assume that that purplish thing over there is what you're talking about. Boop. Obtain Spirit Orb of Dawn. Okay. Or you can just run to the end if I know me at. Okay. I mean, we gotta we gotta put that evil brother down. Or not evil, but uh, benevolently malevolent could be a way to describe it, perhaps. What is that? What is this? Warp. A warp point is in place here, but it's inactive. Okay. Noted. I like the music, though. Music in Tales games is always good. But yeah, I'm excited. Not just to find out how this all ends. Not just for that, but, uh... Also, because once I beat this, uh, I'm thinking it's likely I'm either going to... I got a couple games lined up. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. But I'm leaning pretty heavily towards Yakuza Kiwami. And then I also have um, Deliverance. It's like a medieval, medieval fighting game of some kind that I just got from uh, the August Humble Bundle. Okay, I think I must have missed. Missed something to touch. Oh yeah, Yakuza's great. I played Yakuza 0 a while ago, and it's, um, like, if you like, if you like mafia drama shows, or anything like that, then it's, it's great. It's like watching a giant episode of super awesome mafia stuff, but set in the eighties in Japan. Kingdom Deliverance already dead. Oh, it's a different game. It's um, the the Kingdom Come Deliverance. I think was a multiplayer game, right? I think. But then there was a different one, or maybe it's the same. I don't know. Ooh, that looks active, and I don't think it was before. I don't know. I have to check my my uh, Steam account. I, I got on the Humble Bundle, so I already kind of forgot that I got it, besides, like, briefly looking at it. Ooh, how, wait, what? Oh! Oh. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Okay. Um. Jeez. Just keep running. Just keep running. Maybe it is. Kingdom Come Deliverance? It definitely had Deliverance in it. Name-wise. So. Anyway, it's medieval. I mean, there's probably not that many games. But it, it looked like it was a single-player experience, though. 
Or maybe it's just like a storybook tab. I don't, I don't really know. But it said that it was like a, a decent, short, and uh, kind of fun little well done medieval combat game. So, and I haven't played a first person like sword combat game since like Skyrim? I think? I think Skyrim. Which I played a long time ago. Like seven plus years ago. Okay, uh, he's done that, so we can make him go... I don't know, have some topaz stuff, wait. Battle boots, he's mastered some focus. So now he can swap back to something good, like... Quartz boots. Okay, so that thing, I touched it, it's fine. Okay. So what, where haven't I gone yet? Oh wait, there's a thing. Wow, there's a lot of, there are a lot of areas, aren't there? I wonder what the Telerik ring means anything special. Okay, I can't, this is a bad idea, this is a dead end. Um, hmm. Let's see here. So that's closed, but these are open. I feel like I already went through here. Like, I'm sure that the, uh, the puzzle of this is just figuring out where to go to touch the right things. Hi, how you doing? Well, what's probably gonna end up happening is I'm gonna end up mastering a bunch of equipment and stuff because I just have to keep fighting things. So why do my break swords keep going down so much? So since, since you uh, get into the insane difficulties and all that stuff went up, Maybe you can explain it to me better than the game did at the start. But why do I gain break souls and why do I lose them? <laughs> because I haven't quite figured it out. Like, I feel like maybe gaining break souls is related to attacking their weakness. Oh, they're resistant to that. I thought they were... Okay. Wait, where did, where'd it go? Oh. Mystic break and souls are different things. Oh, the blue orbs. I know what the number is. But the... the blue orbs... Blue orbs confuse me. Like, I know I can pick them up when they fall down and everything, but I don't understand why I get them from enemies sometimes. Besides, like, I remember it said the Mystic... Mystic codes like give away one of them to the enemy when you use it or something like that. But like the game gave you like gave me a tutorial a long time ago, but I I don't know where it's stuck. Or it gave everything all at once, so it was kind of overwhelming, and I wasn't exactly sure what was going on. That was a long fight. All right. Dun 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 dun. Good little fan pair. Close on it until you get stunned, down or hit with satisfaction, you gain the momentum, you stun, activate a chance for Okay. Oh, jeez. So just don't get hit. Okay, this is new. And I get a thing. Exudes powerful mana. Right. Also, I've never been able to figure out how to use the uh, Inori bottles and all that stuff. You can also cause enemies to drop souls based on certain actions in combat, like parrying with them. Gotcha. So, like, uh, Ro Rokuro's attack. Because he can parry. Because he's cool like that. 
I just go the eat them with my hand approach. And it kind of works. Yeah, on my uh, on my game bad, it's my right trigger. Okay, where am I going over here? I see things. I think those those are just off in the distance, right? Yeah. I can't get to those, but those look like oh, that warp point that was down there somewhere. Okay, so I'll just go back through here. I remember this kind of stuff where you had to like warp around or like do things in a certain order to get through and all that business. It reminds me... Oh, okay. Fuck me. Um, <laughs> it reminds me of Zelda or Oracle of Ages, the Game Boy game. The final fight against Ganon where you had to get through the, uh, the castle by going a specific direction like seven times or something. That was, that was the worst. I never figured it out, and I only ever managed to get to Ganon by accident after like hours of just pacing back and forth in the dungeon. A nightmare. You get the area which reflects damage repair is a big part of the post game. Ah, that's neat. Is that how you... Is that how you kill that stupid crystal? Like, up in the, um, the Arctic area, there was a crystal that I could do zero damage to. It had resistance against everything. But I wouldn't be surprised if, like, you kill it by reflecting everything back at it. That is how you kill that stupid crystal. Ah, okay. Stupid crystal. Okay. So I think I, I went through those already, so let's just go down. Because I know I picked up a void ring, I think. Yeah, I think it was a void ring next to that area. Oh. Trying to get this chance to reflect all of my damage in it. Very nice. Very nice, I think. Gotcha. It sounds like a kind of a pain. But, good when you do it. I can see how that would be a big part of the post game considering that you die in like one hit if, like you were saying. Legless ring. That's a terrible ring. That's, that's, that's not good. Okay, which one of these have I gone through? I'm just, I'm gonna follow the uh, the treasure trail here. Okay, where am I? This feels new. Yeah, it's new. There's there's stuff over there that I haven't gotten yet. All oh, right. Oh wait, maybe I was here before. Remember that? Oh no, I was here before. Shoot. Yeah, and I, and I just couldn't get there because I had to find the uh, the geo board section. I assume. Nope. Nope, and out. Okay, and then this brought me down where. somewhere to the warp point that didn't work right and I went there and then went back here and then this leads here which is back to where I was do, do you go somewhere else if you go through it the other way no no okay Huh. So it definitely feels like I'm missing something. <laughs> Luckily Velvet has like... Velvet has a pretty good spread of elemental damage. Like, a surprising amount for someone who's like a knight character. I feel like most of the time main characters end up being specialized in like only two things. But yeah, I have um 
Where is it? Is this it? This, yeah. Yeah, 5% chance to nullify. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's what you said. That's actually not, not terrible. <laughs> I wonder if they did that... Oh, wait, I can, I can get there. Here we go. Alright, what is this open? Ah, opens the middle bit. Cool. Watch them put another cat's box, like, right before the end, but with nothing in it, just to screw you over. I hate the cat's box. think through there and then I'll be back on the level where I need to go. Do, 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 do. Yep, here we go. Just gonna... No cat box is actually... Well, some of them do. That's why I got this sweet little kitty cat. Oh. Oh, that's dumb. That is dumb. <laughs> is this a counter based on how many you've opened? Or is it based on how many cats things you picked up? Oh shit, which one was the right one? Oh, uh, I think it's this one. Oh, ooh, Rainbow Road. Uh, evil Rainbow Road. This is neat looking though. So according to the map, how many open? Okay. According to the map, I'm uh, in the incarnation in the sky. So I'm inside Lapiset right now, basically. I'm running up his large intestine, I think. Mysterious Enforcer. Okay. Sure. These are, um, these are the white blood cells. Bones and the rise, more tension to spawn on the real Hanukkah okay, cap ball, so. Oh! Well, that's nice. <laughs> I haven't decided if I'm gonna take this kitty cat off my head. Oh, there was this one. Here we go. Um, chances are it's gonna have nothing. Oh no, I got angel wings. Look at that. A therapy cat. It's so cute. It's dumb, but it's cute. We could put Phoenix on our head. Or, uh, this guy. A mini Lloyd. Mila. Jude. Tail. There we go. How about that? Perfect. Definitely a Lord of Calamity. If only there was just one, so that she could be a one-winged angel. Then she'd really be a Lord of Calamity. Just gonna start playing gloves that were hat style and bad shapes and like I said. I've had him have uh, his hat style hair for a while. Same with Eisen. I think it just it's more fun. And the horns the horns don't actually look bad on Lafayette. set. Hi, big angry thing. You're weak to wind. That is weird. You're a flying thing, why would you be weak to wind? Actually, the the wings since they're white should be taking on the color of like the purple and everything around. This is not not bad. Doesn't look terrible, actually. The fashion's fun, though I haven't gotten anything good from Agilu. Like, I got her hat style. Um, what else I got? I got her no book style. Some other things, but like, no exciting costumes for her. Or anything like that. 
Oh good, expedition sack. I can oh black bunny ears. I can just imagine like Ben with running up here and be like, oh hey, hey boss, boss, I got this for you. But yeah, like like we have the ridiculous ridiculous Norman costume, which I think is great for Velvet because it gives her a gigantic bandaged paw, which looks really funny, especially when she goes theranized. For a while I had the top hat on Lafayette set. Because it just it's just good. Well, like same with Eleanor. Like her her jackalous outfit is not particularly exciting. Same with Magi though. Like it, it looks I don't know. It does it just doesn't look right without the books. Though, clearly, Mogulu rocks this mustache. Like, it's beautiful. Her ex's outfit. Oh, I have a uh, Rokuro all, all ready for good things. Where's those? I want to see what the bunny ears look like that I just got. Oh, wow, they actually look like bunny ears. Like, they're not... Huh, nice. Oh, I forgot he had a spyglass on. There we go. How about this? Wait, doesn't don't we have aviators? The top hat looks completely ridiculous. Here, there we go. Aviators, perfect. Ooh, how fast are you? Wait, did I miss anything? Oh, I missed a chest. I don't really want to fight this thing. The, the other one was enough, I think. Oh, okay. Hi. Bye. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Also, I think I need a shop. Because when I fought Phoenix, I used a lot of life uh, potions. And I don't think I ever, like, bought more. So. Oh. And now we're back. Okay. Need a thing in order to get over there. Oh, cutscene. Shikashi, sora ni konna mono ga deru to na. Kano nushi wa daichi o utsua ni shite tan janai no ka yo. Maybe no me as a alien. Nan to kano nushi wa takai tokoro ga suki to soba ga kimatte oru kara no. Nan to katte tori ka? <laughs> Why do birds fly? <laughs> no, I think birds fly so the velvet can eat them. Pretty sure. それにしても高いな。しかも丸い。俺たちの世界って丸かったんだな。今頃気づくな。海の水平線。フラットアーサー。BTFO。うん。だから水平線の向こうから近づいてくる船は、この上の方から見えてくるんだよ。お前たち、
いやこの精錬の正体が分かったんじゃよここはカノヌシが地脈に循環させておった力を凝縮し結晶化させたもの分かりやすく言えば聖種カノヌシの体そのものなんじゃよつまり私たちはカノヌシのお腹の中に飛び込んだってことですか分かってたならなぜそうと迂闊に飛び込むなと忠告したじゃろう敵の本拠ではしゃぐでないのに<笑>ですね冷静に考えればこの状況は地脈と大して変わりませんええどのみちカノヌシを倒すにはここに入り込むしか方法はなかったどんなに巨大で強い力を持っていても心臓を潰せば殺せるはずだから確かになじゃが心臓とはこれほどの力を操る聖種カノヌシの本体と同種アルトリウス潰されるのはこっちやもしれんぞ今さらですねマギル<笑>敵の本拠でビビるんじゃないわよ。Still that thunder. Oh, jeez, hi! Wow, out of nowhere. Alright, but we're not inside n o w i n o t s body, though, because otherwise that would count as n o w i n o t consuming us, and then the end of the world would happen or whatever. So, we must not be there quite yet. Oh, wait. What does that speak to? Oh, it's got. Thanks. Now, can I not get attacked by an angry bug this time? I like, I like the look of this stuff. Are those armatized exorcist enemies? It's kind of crap. I bet you this is the hardest blob in the game. Fleeting cell, weak to water. I will give that to this game. Like, the, the environments have been nice. Like, nothing super breathtaking, but nice. And that, like, you never become a chibi version of yourself, like in an overworld and whatnot. That's kind of nice too, I guess. Though it is what I expect in Tales game, so it was kind of weird at first not having that. So. <laughs> uh, Magi, though. You're the best. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna walk over to this crystal. I don't like that noise. That's a bad noise. Hi, Crystal. What do you do? Oh, you do something. You make a bridge. Okay. Pretty, uh, pretty good puzzle. Blind follower. They make some weird noises. Are they wearing... Wait, do they have pig feet or are they wearing like little tiny heels? Like Mary Jane's. Oh, jeez. Slash and smash it, though. <laughs> oh, my, though. 
They're so silly. Her menagerie skits are great. Eisen's was wonderful. So is Rokuro's. This place kind of reminds me of the final area of Final Fantasy 13 2. Kind of. It's not as cool looking though. Though it's kind of, um, what's the word? Mm, not hypnotizing. Uh, disorienting the way everything is moving. Like it. I don't know. Feels weird. Dizzying, perhaps? Okay. So there's a warp point that isn't unlocked. And a thing. Well, on a door. Jeez. Just gonna ignore the warp point for now because I imagine that I'll open it later as a shortcut or something like that. Sublime ring, telleric ring. These things, these words mean something. And I don't know what. Okay, we're getting we're getting closer to the big shiny part of the sky. Uh, okay. Gonna ignore you. Also, um, I do, I do kind of wonder if I'm leveled enough for the final. Oh, no, a choice. That's not good. Okay, can this warp? No. Um, oh, it actually connects. In that case, let's go to this one, because it looks like it's a dead end. Hi, angry thing. Oh, uh, you'll be to that? Okay. Okay. And fire, I think, is the way for for you. Um, yeah. So, Yakuza, that deliverance game. Uh, I have Hollow Knight. What else do I have? I feel like I have a couple other little Metro Bane. Oh, I can't go here yet. Okay. I feel like I have a couple other Metro, uh, Metroidvania type games. There's, some, there's something else too. Uh, I have Sunrider, which I still need to finish. Like, Sunrider is a trilogy of games and I've beaten the first two. And it's like a mix between visual novel and turn-based uh, space combat. And I haven't played it in forever. Oh, there's a, there's a thing. Okay, how do I get to that? That's the real question. So I want to get the geo board so I can run around. Oh, it's probably through that, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm going to hit that thing first. Just to unlock the geo board, and then I'll go through uh, the other little thing there. Also, I would say I'm tempted to use that, because I bet you it goes downstairs. But I really want the geo board first, because once I have that, any of those jumping blinks will become accessible for me. So it seems more important. Not to mention I'll be able to move faster, and the space is pretty big. And that looks rather important. Like, really important. I hope I don't, like, trigger something by going near it. That would just be an impressive sight. 
person. Surprising as though there's no skit about it. There we go. Alright. Now I can go back down. Alright, so... I'm going to go to that dead end first. Because I think there was a treasure chest at the end of it. And since this is the end game area, I assume that there's good items or possibly good weapons that one would want to have. The only thing about doing Sunrider is that um, it's a visual novel that is not voice acted besides uh, some combat lines. Well, at least it wasn't in the first two. It might change in the third one. I don't know. But it does. <clears throat> it means that I had to do all the voices. A helmet allows you to break soul something something. What? 8% chance not to lose souls during break soul. That's nice. Right now she has a court spell on, which makes me bet against fiends and some other stuff. Um, sure. Normally I just stick with one thing until I master it, but since I doubt we're going to be mastering anything, I'm just going to go with whatever. I do remember the Sunrider. Sunrider got the difficulty ramped up on a number of missions to an absurd degree, and you really had to like save scum to get through it, and it was kind of a pain in the ass. It just makes you feel bad when you had to save scum. Okay, so first things first, I want to go through that warp. I want to know where that goes. Um, okay, where am I? Not really sure. I'm on a side of something. Wait, okay, so that... That was that point. So we were there before. That was the way back down. Okay, so it's a shortcut. Because we definitely went through these guys before. Alright, so then what does the door on this side go to? That door right there, where does it go? Um, go somewhere. Go somewhere that I'm, makes me really happy that I went and got the geo board first. Melon. And a purified blade. Makes it a bane to the undead. That's good because I've mastered this one. It just happens to do a nasty ton of damage. Okay. I don't know how many things are undead here, though. But I might as well equip it for now. So I'm not too concerned about my attack power. At least not until I get to a Nominat, probably. There sure are a lot of bugs. Uh, luckily, they're weak to the hidden arts. Also known in other games as regular attacks. Ouch. 
That move of Lapis Sets with the purple arm things coming out of nowhere and whatnot makes you think of Fate Heaven's Feel. Hey, it's another thingy. Spirit Orb of the Pale Moon. Boink. Wow, there's so many of them. Okay. And with that, we're done. We can go across. So it also looks like we can find another big thing and then uh, open up a different path as well. But first, through here, and I think probably to that door over there. I don't see too many other things unless there's a crystal up here. Or maybe not to that door, but to that door. I like the dull roar effect that they have. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what that is. But I'm not gonna lie and say I'm not interested in knowing what this is. Can I, can I fall down this? Jump. I feel like it's a dumb idea to jump. But maybe it could be good? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Go ahead. Oh. Worth it. Spirit Orb of Soaring Trees. I'm imagining that these Spirit Orbs are going to come in handy at some point. Hey, there's the other crystal. Like, maybe they'll make the fight against Nomiya easier, or something. Okay, so that was the one for upstairs, I think. That's good. And we have to drop back down. And that's probably... Oh, oh okay. I was thinking that I was going to end up near the other... Um, that thing, over there. Oh! You never... That's nice. If you get to keep your items in New Game Plus, that seems like it'd be a good thing. There we go. That's some good level design right there. Set you up with a warp point that can lead you back up. And then have drops come down and everything like that. That's good. I like that. I feel like it doesn't save that much time. Oh, no, I guess it does. Because you don't really have to go through, like three or four loading screens. So. Oh, it's that one that opened up. Oh, jeez. I thought it was a different one. Soul Bottle! There was this game, jeez, uh, on the PS2, I think, and it was a it was a night before Christmas, like platformer game where you played as Jack and would jump around and everything like that. And he had like barely any attacks. It was when people were trying to imitate like God of War, sort of where they'd have a whole bunch of different combos that you could do and all this other stuff. Or maybe it wasn't really imitating God of War, but it was in that era of game. So it makes me think of it. Um, but he had this one attack that was like the one that you'd always end up using where he would just repeatedly spam saying soul rubber soul rubber and so whenever i hear soul or something like that it makes me think of either soul caliber 2 where you have nightmare like starting off every battle and going souls and stuff like that or it makes me think of jack going soul rubber repeatedly nope nope can't catch me can't touch this. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see this door. Just some bits. Some nice bits and some chests. Mithril blade. I have one of those already. Oh, I guess I didn't. It's got a much better attack though. And gives me decent magic defense. So that actually, that seems actually pretty useful. 
Not to mention the random skill is attack plus 40. So we're going to use that for a while, I think. Nope. Alright, and now onward towards the actual... towards the goal. At least this isn't too long though, or at least it doesn't feel too long. I remember in Tales of Symphonia, uh, was it Dawn of the New World was the subtitle of the second one? But the ultimate dungeon, oh hey I skip, the ultimate dungeon in that game was a slug, and I think my friend and I stayed up till like 3.30 o'clock in the morning trying to beat it. なんの百ガルドじゃったかのとぼけなくていいからあの百ガルド払ってよね冷めた冷めたわ百人のコーヒーも冷めるわ命を懸けておぬしの復讐に付き合おうというわしにこの後に及んで百ガルドとなもういい
私ができることを続けていくと思いますですからもしあなたが他のゴーマのように人間を襲うようなことがあれば私は迷わずあなたと戦いますそうかだが俺は強いぜ心配無用ですこの戦いで私も自信をつけてもっと強くなりますからならさっきの質問は答えるまでもないなええ行きましょう勝ちにおう Damn straight That's how we're translating ほうあの主を倒した後もアイゼンには僕が見えるんだよねああ霊的な存在である精霊やゴーマはこれまで通り互いを認識できるだが人間からはほとんど見えなくなるだろうなマギルーが言っていたように寂しいのかアイゼンは寂しくないのベンウィックや海賊団の人たちからも見えなくなっちゃうのに見えていようが見えていまいがあいつらはもう俺が共にいることを知っている幽霊に戻って連中の冒険をせいぜいスリリングにしてやるぞ<笑>見えなかった時は海賊のみんなは I mean, in a sense, they kind of are, aren't they? 船に取り付いた幽霊だと思ってたんだよねあああの頃に戻ったと思えばいい見えなくなってもあの船と海賊団と一緒にアイゼンは生きていくんだねそれでも必ず別れは訪れる人間よりもずっと長く生きる俺たちにはそれは避けられないことだ誰だって別れは辛いその辛さを味わいたくなければ人間と関わらなければいいだけのことだ精霊の世界でだけ生きている連中もいる愚かな人の世の争いを What? I thought Malakim came from just like energy bursts. And they just kind of manifested. I wasn't aware that they like had their own heavenly realm they lived in. I don't know. Maybe in 10 minutes. Who knows? I don't know if you understand that because Alright, is that it for cutscenes for a little while? Or skits, rather? Alright. Wait. Isn't this? This isn't where I just was. This is like, what, one above or something? Oh, that's, that's weird. Okay. Uh, let's just go right first, I guess. Squee! I really want to know if they, like, recorded guinea pigs or something like that in order to make these sound effects, you know? Ooh, hi. Because some of these things definitely sound like guinea pigs, like, pitched up even higher than they already are. Or maybe pitched lower. Does Japan have guinea pigs? Hmm, I haven't thought about that. Okay, well, this seems like a good step. Um, okay, we need a crystal or three. Oh boy. Thanks. But yeah, I accidentally turned on the English voices uh, last night I played, and after about uh, 10 seconds or so, I finished, or I turned off the game <laughs> and rebooted to have the Japanese ones. Aizen's English voice doesn't match up when you're used to his Japanese voice. Like, his Japanese voice is much more like 
gruff and manly, and then his his English voice is not. It's like a jerkish, cocky boy. Which isn't really the impression that Aizen's given me, you know? And Velvet sounded weird. And those are the only two English voices that I heard. But that was enough. That was enough. I, I really prefer the, the Japanese, I think. Oh, that unlocked a whole bunch of things, and that was a horrendous noise. Okay, so now everything's connected, which is nice. Um, yeah, I suppose let's go get the treasure chest. And then through the uh, the door, I guess. How do I get around you? Ah, this thing. Alright. How many of these are there, I wonder? Ooh, hey, there's a thing. Hold on. That's probably... It probably unlocks something down below, I would bet. Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh, but there's a crystal to bust open, though. Do, 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 do. This also kind of reminds me of when we were stuck in the Earth Pulse. Like, how there's kind of just a bunch of random little levels and, like, nothing really interesting going on. And it's just a lot of running around. Like, what's the word for it? Uh, filler? Filler. That's the word for it. Like, unless they actually put something interesting around here, then I feel like it's not really... Not really doing much better than if we had just had, like, a straight door to him. Well, big golden staircase. Oh! <laughs> わかるいでか。ドイツもこいつも他人の都合で動くやつじゃあるまい。規定はしません。自分の家事は自分で取る。それが僕たちの流儀だ。No safe point, huh? Alright, so I, I definitely missed out on a couple of things. Or like a path down there. Uh, I'm wondering if I should go back and go look through said path or not. It looked like there was a treasure chest and not much else. Um, item wise. I got 12 life bottles. That's pretty good. Are the, yeah, the spirit things. So I have five of them. I don't know if that's enough or if there's supposed to be another one. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go look through that other bit. Oh wait, there's a save point right here. Wait, was that always there? Yeah, I guess it was. I'm just dumb. Okay. So wait, which path, to, where did I come from? Where did I go? Oh, I came. I came from this way, right? I think. I'm gonna have to make sure that I remember how to get back here afterwards. Okay. Where, where was the path that I didn't take though? Was it through the door? Oh boy, we're gonna be lost. Yeah, oh, oh, hi. There's a thing. 
Right, that makes six. Celestial. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. There's six of them. There's six of us. The door is over here. Uh, let's go fight a Nomiat. Or, or Arthur, rather. Or Artorius, Shepherd. Whatever you like to call the boy. The sad, sad man who lost his wife and then got manipulated by an old man into ending the world. But that might be a little bit too generous, Sartorius. I think he had that uh, had that goal initially anyway. And then stopped for a while to play make-believe like he was a normal person with a regular life. All right, this is pretty. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Yep. This looks like a battlefield. Like Final Destination Super Smash. どうしだな。最下の剣士ご一行の到着じゃ。最強の剣士。切るのが楽しみだ。俺たちに喧嘩を打った落とし前へ。つけさせてもらうぞ。アルトリウス様。私は自分の意志に従ってあなたを止めます
Oh, there we go. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Alright, he's got the power link, so he needs to die first, I think. Oh, wait. Where is it? Yeah, you, you kill the power link one first, right? And he's weak to fire, so I'm going to go to town on his ass. Alright. Come here, Nomi Nat. Ow. Wait, am I am I wrong? Do you kill the thing that doesn't have the power link first? I don't know how to play this game. I've only been doing it for like 40 hours. Maybe I'm supposed to kill him first. Alright, he's weak to that. Could lightning, so lightning, lightning, lightning. My B moves. Ow. Our choice hits pretty damn hard, doesn't it? Just trying to, trying to interrupt him. And Nomiya isn't paying any attention to me at all. Oh, there he goes. Now he's angry. Maybe for a while. How long you get? Uh, not that long. Almost just started the fight. Um, I've forgotten how this game works. Uh, yes. When it says power link. Am I supposed to fight the one that it says Power Link on first, or the one that it doesn't say Power Link on first? Because I legitimately don't remember. So if you don't know how Power Link. Okay, I just I know that they are powering each other up, or one of them is. Ow, that that was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Life. Him. And then you use resurrection on me. Please. If you don't mind. Um. Yeah, you're not gonna... Okay, there we go. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You're almost there. There we go. Okay. Elixir or something? That's neat. I feel like Dolvich should kill her brother, though. Oh, there we go. We'll just kite him around a bit. Oh. Oh, jeez. That's, that's Nomi not doing that, right? Oh, hi, Arthur. How you doing? Ow. Arthur, why? Primal kill. That's mean. Don't be mean. Okay. Well, he's dead. 
So we'll bring him back. Maybe I'm supposed to kill Arthur first. I don't know, I wonder if the fight differs depending on who you kill first, and he's targeting me. Get get out of there. Ow. Okay. Can't have a him have it. Oh, he's got judgment? That's fine. Crown fire. Good job missing it, Omiya. Annihilation beam, that's cool. Okay, hey, hey, come down here. Come down here so I can murder you. Oh, shit. He has full, uh, full break thingies. So I should probably not be near him. Oh, we're almost there. Anomia's almost down. Suck it, Lapsa. Uh -huh. Wait, now Arturis has a defense. What? What? I don't understand. I have no idea how power link works. That's what that tells me. Just let me eat you. Ouch. Frozen. To be honest, um, so far, anyway, Phoenix has been a hard. Phoenix was a harder fight than this, and that was only fighting one thing. So, I imagine there's probably multiple phases to this. Oh, I, I killed Phoenix. He was a pain, but I did it. So you're level high then. Yeah, no, he's level 100. <laughs> I was really confused when I fought him because I was like, oh, I'm just doing a side quest. It's fine. And then I looked at his health and I'm like, he has 120k health and level 100. What is this garbage? It was great. And by great, I mean complete horseshit when he revived all 120k of his health with a, with his uh, mystic art to revive himself. That was crap. Oh, oh, we almost got him. Nice. Oh, oh, we got him. With a Mystic Art, too. Well, that's gonna give us some good grade. Oh, they're gonna attack Lof, so. Just eat him. Eat him. The dark turtle. That sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely hilarious. I love the turtles. Nice comb. ラフィーがくれた串を。
Arturiusy. This is uh, Enomia's gonna eat Artorius and become super Enomia. どうやらお前から絶望を食らうことはできないようだな。ならば、俺は飛ばなければならない。強き翼を持つゆえ、人は沈めなければならない。I don't, I don't really like the way he's standing behind Lapiset like that. Yep.ニュエ。私の絶望を食らうがいい。Did, did he just go meteor on himself? Wait, what is what what? Here he was gonna like armortize with a thing or something. Oh, he just got a big sword. Yeah, okay, he he armortized with it. He just went full mythos on us. It's pretty cool. Oh, he just doesn't want anyone to have sex. Oh. That's why he's so mad. It's because his wife left him. Because she died. So <laughs> like, what the heck, lady? I'm dying to a demon. What are you doing? Nah, I'm just kidding. Ceres was a nice lady. And Ar Ar Arthur was a nice husband in Once Upon a Time. Oh, I'm gonna lose a thing if I'm not careful you. Jeez. He's got that spin to win strategy mastered, doesn't he? Uh, we've already used items, so I might as well just, you know, enjoy some gels. Ow. What was that? Because that hurt. Okay. Ooh, hello. Alright, Eleanor, I would love it if you would charge your little meter so I could do a switch attack with you and get a Rokuro in here. Because Rokuro's got plenty of fire... fire attacks. Oh, I should probably move away from that when he does that, shouldn't I? Actually, you know what? I never use... I never use these things. What should I use? I think she needs more than that. Hey, you Eleanor. No, see, I'm kind of curious how, if like at the end of all this, if Velvet isn't going to be destroyed, but like she's going to become like an Imperium herself or something, you know? Oh, that's definitely a get the hell away. Level up. Do, 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 do. 
There we go, Hooker is good. That was a good set of attacks, though. I think. Then you lose the future to by Tori as the main character. Gotta hope not. This does be a really lame ending if that's what it is. <laughs> Everybody dies, and uh, all of humanity's creation is suppressed. No one has babies anymore. It's the year 2019. Birth rates are falling. But luckily, Abe sama, our Lord and Savior, Prime Minister of Japan, is here with waifu animes to help people get outside and meet people. That's the real, real story here. Wow, way to. Ooh, ooh, he's alive. Holy shit, he's alive. Here you go. Stay alive. Right. Come, no. come, come back here. Come back here and let me hit you. Ow. Okay, is he actually stunned or what's, what's going on here? Oh, I don't like the looks of this though. Oh, okay, never mind. He had full, full stars for a second, so I thought he was gonna unleash hell. It's nice that they made um, Artorias weak to Velvet's attack. So. Like, though, it, I think she started. She started with a fire attack. I think was her first like magic attack. So it's nice that he's weak to that. Got him. There's some grade for you. Enemies defeated by Scarts. There we go. And Magi Lu has finally mastered her mithril garment. How nice is that? I'm so happy I didn't put her in a Norman costume. <laughs> Uh, her sword's gonna break. You can see the little split. Yep. Akiramero. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's biting him. She just sucked the loft to set out of him. Nice. え、<笑> Oliver 
ずっと思っていたんだ死んだのがセリカたちでなくお前たちだったらよかったのにと私もそう思うもしそうだったらきっと兄さんは私たちのために世界を救ってくれたものあ,あ救いたかった悔しいな。<laughs> yeah, that that was a、uh, fee's dad right there. She died. Uh oh. Big boy's hungry. All right, another boss fight. Here we go. やばいぞ、こりゃ。今ならまだ殺せる。待って。私がやる。僕が我慢したんだ。怖いのも痛いのも。知ってるわ。There, there, give us a hug. He's Eden. So, Ka. Berbetto, a any honor of Kuase, Kanonus, you cry to the Kiru Tsumori Nanja. Taga, you cry out, Mugen no Mujun Tokaseba. Ikita Mama Kanonus, you who in the Kiru to Kangaitanjana. Tameda, you son of Kanonus, you Koroseba. So no Ichibuno, Atashimo, Fimo Shin. Eat your fortune apple. Keeps the doctors away. Eh,死になさい。食べて、生きて、したいことを全部やった後に。Wait, so who wins Mayu's bet? She's not be, I mean, she's being devoured. まっすぐな優しい力で違うよ。ベルベットこそ僕をねえ。あんたも見てきたよね。人間はいつも必死で。だから間違ってしまう生き物なのあの兄さんでさえだからお願いあんたは生きて私がめちゃくちゃにした世界を私みたいな弱い人間をどうか助けてあげてこれが
私の最後のわがままよそんなの<笑>ずるいよ本当にごめんねThat, that's your brother in law, Velvet. So I hope you mean that in a familiar sense. Just saying. <sighs> and thus the Ouroboros was formed. So here's the four Imperians. <laughs> こいつらは<笑> So, uh, little fee or velvet? Naruyo, Boku ga kawari ni. Mate life set to so na kanta ni. Kiite yaro ze. Kisama wa kanonushi no ichibu da. Chikara ni kusoku wa nai. Daga, mondai wa ichi da. Nanji wa kono sekai. I will give them apples. Wait, is he actually gonna... Don't say that. Okay. I will become the god of gambling. His apple power. <laughs> it wasn't his angry apple eating before he confesses his love? Big beam of light comes down on him. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid looking. <laughs> so he's just gonna turn all the demons back into humans with his silver flame. Oh, ooh, cutscene. Okay. Okay, wait, what about Dial's tail, though? Like, what part of him is not coming back because he lost his tail? Yeah, I like him better as a crocodile. Someone has to tell her that her mom is dead now, though. Rough. I want the birds back to normal. Wait, is the, the dragon... Even the dragon? Did he turn her back too? Poof. That's right, five head. Excuse me? He ate an apple, made him grow real big. That's the only explanation. Uh, why is his voice still like that, though? 
Oh god, the dojins. No. No. But only if they want it. でも心を変える力じゃないから。やり直す可能性を与えるだけなのですね。すまん。俺の業は深すぎるんだな。いいんだよ。それが六郎なんだから。優しいな。お前は。やれやれ。タイマ氏はほとんど消え、人の業は混
people talking about how maybe all the Tales games take place in the same world, just over cycles of time and whatnot. Uh, I fought Jude by himself, and I fought Mila by herself. When you say, I assume you didn't fight Jude Mila, I assume you mean like you like fight them together, or something horrifying like that. What is this? Rokuro clearly is turning into a divergence catalyst. What does that even mean? These are words that people put together, and I don't know what it is. Because I haven't played every single, every single Tales game. And I probably won't, honestly. I like them, but you know. Instead of moving towards the end, they really try to line them to the harbinger of the end. Oh boy! <laughs> Maggie point. You know what? If uh, if the end of the world is brought by a cutie like Maggie, I can deal. As long as she does her comedy all the way right up to the end, then it'll be fine. Do, do, do. All right. Let me think about this game here that that I just beat. Oh look, he's eating the the mabo tofu, and is that and this Shigure and his brother are getting drunk in the background over there. Sure they are. That definitely happened. Sure. Oh, you you off table was in this or had a hand in this? That explains it. Explains. Oh look at look at Eleanor's cute little outfit. That is a good picture right there. I'm liking the concept art, even if it makes zero sense, considering that looks like Teresa and maybe Oscar walking up there. But why would Velvet and Lafayette be there? So if I had, let me think here. Um, man, this game. <laughs> we go this way. That's a good moment right there. The concept art is pretty great. I really like the anime, um, like the actual animated scenes. Those are great. Loved those. Those were fun. And there was a surprising number of them. Like, I remember, I think in Symphonia there were like maybe at most three. I think there might have only been two. Three if you include like the very intro cutscene, which doesn't really count. But this one had had a good number of them. <laughs> Opposite point of the grimoire. It's good. You know, if the if the Tales games all exist in the same world, though, at whatever point after Berseria, that just means that somewhere out there, there's a brother and a sisters trying to eat each other. In Eternal, not quite sixty nine. Oh, the beetle. That beetle caused so much stress for their party. Trying to argue which one it was. So, do you think that, like, like Lafayette was very hungry, right? Do you think that eating someone who's eating you makes you any less hungry, or do you think you're just like always partially sated but still kind of hungry? At least they get to hug for like all eternity or so. That's kind of nice, I guess. And I assume that demons don't die, like lifespan wise, unless something kills them. So Velvet will last forever, I guess. But she doesn't get hungry either, so she'll be fine. I don't know. I think there was. Uh, So, out of all the Tales games that I've played, this one, I don't know where to rank it, I guess. I've played Symphonia, I've played Vesperia, and now I've played Berseria, and those are the only three I've played. Um, Symphonia is at the top, easily, without like any hesitance at all. That game is fantastic. 
Vesperia's combat like had input lag. Like the, it was very easy to get stun locked and kind of crap, but it was still the combat that I knew and loved from Symphonia to some degree. So I was pretty happy with it overall, even though it had its uh, issues you had to get to. But Berseria's combat, like, uh, like it was cool. I liked the idea of using like the different face buttons and etc. That's cute. Uh, they're making a quiche. The different. Is that in the background? Oh no, that must be like a little sister of Nikos or something. Um, I like the idea of like having all those like combinations and whatnot and the different things you can do with it. At the same time, having to like reset all your arts or like a chain of your arts in order to make it like work against an enemy is kind of annoying. Laffy set, Laffy set, and Velvet. Or Mautilus, I guess. The name definitely suits the dragon better than it does him. Oh, ooh, what's this? Where's your bathing suit, Rokuro? So Benwick and friends can't see Aizen anymore, right? He just hangs out and brings bad luck to them. So is Benwick the captain now? Because he is weird. Like, he, I don't know. I guess he's the only pirate we really got to know, but he never really seemed like Captain Material to me. Oh wait, shit. What side was that up on? Did Aizen actually just get, like, a heads or something? I totally missed it. Eleanor, I assume? Oh, did she find- did she marry that guy back in, um, Renid? Or what, whatever it was? She's like, have you heard the good word? The word of our lord, Malatelis? He's a dragon that spits silver flames. And he loves apples. He Give your sacrificial apples to the dragon. Oh, she probably did. And she adopted Kamoana. Oh wait, did Dylan, the, uh, the snake chick, get married? No. Here, eat this apple. The apple power pose was very silly, though. I agree completely about that. Magilu! What you doing in that little book? Oh. Kick the traitor. Nice. <laughs> Oh, she's thinking about Melchior, her daddy. I guess her heart's not totally broken then, huh? What is under his hat? Meanwhile, somewhere in the sky? Space? Somewhere.
今を生きる So does he just like periodically wipe the world of demons? Like what is what did he do? Or is he just uh achievement unlocked Velvet Crow? Okay. Okay. Congratulations! You've won! You Complete the game. You can now save your game and load it. I think he doesn't do tech. <laughs> Ancestry, the whole world is over with demons. Oh, good. So basically, they just let him. Uh, it's like, all right, you can do what you want, and everyone's just gonna let everything go to hell. That's that's what happens. It's good. <laughs> oh man. All right. That's uh, that's good. That was an experience, though. That that was uh, that was an experience for sure. Not bad, not great. The story like kept me entertained. Like I wanted to see what was happening next, you know. But at the same time, the combat was so like mind numbing and kind of boring that it made me not really want to play it. So I don't know. There was a there was some there was some confusion every now and then. I think about whether or not I really wanted to keep going. But I beat it. The game existed. That is a good way to put it. The game <laughs> did in fact exist. And at some point, someone ate Dial's tail because they thought it would be delicious. And they were probably right. Maybe. I don't know. If it tasted like eel, that'd be okay. I don't really know what lizard tastes like though. But I think that the, like as far as how I feel about the game overall, Magilu probably expresses it pretty well with just kind of being exhausted and like okay I'm did I'm done we're good we're happy let's abuse Lafayette set a little bit you know let's just wow this one's really big I'm just going through my screenshots that I have and we have some silliness there we go like the uh, specifically this one in the bottom left over here you know the Carl meme with uh, the like the dad from the lack, the Walking Dead going Carl and making the shitty jokes and whatnot. That's what her face, what her face makes me think of, right there. Just the way she's hunched over lobby set. Anywho, yeah. All right, that's uh, <laughs> that's it. I'm good. I'm 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 good. I think that uh, beating the game was good enough. And it's late enough that uh, you know, let things go and be done with streaming for the night. Um, so that said, I still have some Baba's U to play. Probably a lot of Baba's U to play. Um, I still have a lot of games in my backlog to beat, and I will probably be appearing on said stream. Not sure which. Maybe Hyperdimension Neptunia. Who knows? Neptunia. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. What else? Where's that Kingdom game? Kingdom Come Deliverance. Okay, it is that one. That one for its thing. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami is really, really beckoning to me. Because I really, really like, like the Yakuza series. So that might be up next. Yep. All right. But that's it for the night. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching the the end of uh, the game with me. And I hope that you have a great time with your level 100 ridiculous uh, final battles and what up, Van. And uh, I'll be back on Wednesday at 7.30 for um, probably Yakuza, I think. Probably Yakuza Kiwami. So. But that's it for the night. So have a great rest of your night. And, uh, and weak if I don't see you for a while or what have you. And take it easy. Bye for now.